So leaky till it's like a cell. Tell me one thing and tomorrow I'll hardly remember. So Daddy, Mom said that you actually made this case. I did. Where did you, where did you get the materials to make it from? Where did you make it out of? This was an army canteen thing, and, and it originally had clips on it. They clipped onto you to your rifle. You had a special belt that you wore uh -huh. that you could clip all kind of stuff onto. Okay. It was separate from your, from your pants. And it had two clips on it. I took them off. And it, uh... I'm going to close the door because they're making a lot of noise. I have things going crazy around here. Forty ways at once in different directions. <laughs> okay. I ain't going to tell her one time. I've told it too many times already. Well, I've never heard it. Well, all right, here it is. It, uh, it, it this was originally, a, a, you see the strap on top, you can either wear it across your shoulder, like this, uh -huh. it's adjustable, put your arm through it and carry it on your side, or you could have, have clips on the back of it that you could clip it on to, to your rifle belt. So, uh, but the army did not allow you to take a camera if you were going to go overseas. You had to surrender. You, you had to get rid of your camera. You couldn't take it. But I, I sneaked it by putting it inside of this canteen case, which now has been reconfigured to hold a camera like this. And and if I, it was, if this was out of here, you could see it's kind of curved like this. And originally it was concave in the back, so it fit on your hip. Uh, or if you had it over your shoulder, either way. So I took the, I took the camera and I, and, I, and I rigged this up so they thought it was a canteen and not a, not a camera. And, and, I, and I did actually, I, I, and so, so I was able to conceal it. So I sneaked it over there. And then when I got over there, I kept it in this case all the time because they would take it away from me if, if they knew I had it. And I made pictures in, in various places and, and, and I, was, I was serving in uh, South, I landed in Marseille, France and we, uh, that's the southern part of France, a coastal area and it goes up to mountainous territory and, and, and until it gets to Paris. So. I managed to use it and I made quite a few pictures that I made with some of my friends. I ran, I ran into several of my friends in, 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 Mar, in Marseille uh, where we were stationed because it was a rest center for, 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 for guys who had, you know, had battle shock and they were going to give them some vacation, special vacation time. And so I, was, I ran across two of my friends who was in that category just by one chance in a thousand. Who, who were they? Two friends of mine. They I were knew. from Wilmington? The, yeah, one was from Wilmington, one was from Fletcher, the academy that we attended at, at uh, uh, Christian Academy up in Fletcher, North Carolina. And, and, and I made pictures of them standing on the beach. Huh? Right there in that in that uh, retreat for soldiers who had kind of like battle shock, you know. Uh huh. And that's what it is. And I managed to once 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 I got a port board the airplane to to come home, then then it was not would not be confiscated, and it didn't matter that I could take it out. How many pictures did you take while you were there? Well, it's interesting. You say, what what are you going to take pictures? Well, believe it or not, those French shops, the little photographic shops where they'd take portraits and all that stuff, they had the chemicals to develop the film. So you developed them while you were while there? They, while they were there, I developed them. Did you send pictures home in your letters? No, because they were taking them away from oh. They censored every, every letter you sent home during the war when you were overseas. An officer had to read it, make sure he hadn't put some some classified information in it, and then he had to stamp his approval on it. So I did not send them home. I brought them home, 
snuck him back into the case. How many pictures did you take? Oh, I don't know. It was at least uh, I know I know I had three rolls, and there was there was uh, twenty pictures on a roll. So you took sixty pictures. Yeah, I took at least sixty. And uh, I probably goofed up three of them by you know making a mistake. Three pictures out of the sixty. Right, and this was an old time brownie number two, the middle size box camera that was made back in the in the early in the early thirties, nineteen thirties. So this camera was probably put together in I'd say in the early part of nineteen thirty was when it was when it was manufactured. And I got it I had twelve my mother gave me twelve dollars in other words, all the family for birthday present, they gave me, tw they collected $12 for my birthday. And I went downtown and bought this at a camera shop that sold these. And that's about it. Do you remember what kind of things you took pictures of when you were in the Army? Yes, I did. I took, some, I took a couple of photographs. I knew it would have been confiscated. They were, they were, German bunkers that the Allies had bombed, but they were still intact. They had been hit, put out of service, and uh, also there's an old German tank. I made a picture of it, which had been disabled by the Allies. Did you take pictures of any prisoners of war? Uh, I got one picture. And it was the prisoners of war, and they were German prisoners. And the war was, was pretty near over by that time, and, and he didn't hurt, and they had them in, in stockades. And then the, 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 the uh, soldiers would take them and put them on work details. And you didn't have to worry about them running away because they didn't want to get back in that war. The war was just about over. So you didn't have to worry about them running away, escaping. And, and escaped prisoners would be shot on sight if they did escape. And, and the Germans were very well organized people. They've always been that way and probably always will. So if you, if you had a detail of five men of German prisoners and they're going to take them out of work detail, you put one of him in charge of the other five and he'd work their butt off. That's how, that's how organized they are because <laughs> he was in charge. <laughs> so what kind of work did they have them do? Well, they all kind of manual labor. Uh, uh, they had them uh, whatever whatever things needed. If it was uh, breaking up stones, or where there was uh, raking a graveyard, or all kind of things like that. Did you take pictures of anything that was scary or gross? No, I did not. Mostly just of guys over there or? Yeah, situations. People you worked with? Yes. I was in the uh, post engineers and the, 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 the combat engineers are the, are the ones that are need to that are the real brave guys, and they, they're in the most danger because they go up and throw up pontoon bridges across rivers and all under fire. Uh, the, the engineer group I was in was, would be called a support group, and we were not in the front lines. So we didn't get shot. They call, they call those the post engineers because they were the engineer officers to take care of the facilities. Oh. On the post, well, or on the right. base. That's right. In other words, they're basically maintenance people. And, so they, and they put them to work in hospitals. And, and we had a general hospital there that I was attached to. And, and they would do all kind of work around it in the hospital. Manual labor. So what kinds of things did you do? 
Did I do? Yeah. Well, I did. I did a lot of things. I, I, uh, I already had learned a lot about electricity, and, and I was assigned with it. And that was my MOS number was electrician. MOS means what you did in civilian life. And and my MOS number hooked me up with a fellow from who had worked in us uh, in uh, where the Saints are. What's that town? St. Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. And he was a master electrician, the smartest man I've ever seen, an electrical man. And they hooked me up with him, and I learned a lot from him What, in addition to what I already knew. So I was very fortunate to be assigned with another guy who was who liked to teach me stuff. So, so actually I came out of the Army more educated than when I went in, you know, in, in skills. I always did like to work anyway. I love working. So, about the end of the story, I guess. Okay. <laughs>